Hey, how are you doing? Um, you know, we all know kids are really selfish and frequently whine in order to force through their demands to adults. So they behave on instinct as if they are the center of the universe and they have no reason in their mind to understand their circumstance themselves and to behave rationally. So this is a pretty natural thing because we all know kids are really immature and kids don't know their behaviors extremely self-indulgent that causes so many troubles to others frequently. So they don't feel sorry to bother someone because they don't realize yet that bothering someone is a bad thing. So we are prepared to, pay, to be patient with kids' willful behaviors they, that they don't mind bothering people around them. So we adults patiently take care of them and teach them what is bad and what is good. But this phenomenon can also happen in an adult society. You know, people's degree of mental maturity is infinity in variety. So we have a childish adults and we also have super mature, mature adults at the same time in our society. So there are so many cases that things that you regard as an, an ethical matter are regarded as an ethical matter by someone. So this is because of the difference in me mental maturity between you and others. So mental maturity differently gives us a great effect on the individual uh, sense of values and the individual way of thinking. And as we patiently take care of self selfish kids with uh, willful behavior, we also have to be patient with an adult that bothers someone with unethical behaviors, like you take care of your child. So, but you can't easily lecture an adult about uh, his or her shortcomings from your viewpoint based on your sense of value. You know, because adults have the unwavering thoughts and beliefs that they have ever cultivated for a long time in their life and they don't want to be interrupted by anyone no matter how childish they are. So in case that, in case that you treat childish adults, you, uh, we, have to, uh, we have to respect his or her sense of values and we have no choice but to just keep watching what they're doing patiently with a stance that we can help the, his or her growth anytime until they are aware of their failures and the mistakes with their reason by themselves. So the degree of difference of mental maturity is similar to the difference between child and adults, I think. So I, if you think you have better mental maturity than someone, uh, you just re return a sword to a cupboard and you just uh, moderate your anger and listen carefully to his or her talk and you just give him or her lecture within the possible range that he or she can understand your lecture honestly with your with his or her reason so don't rush to tell your sense of ethics to someone mentally immature right this is really uh, disrespectful behavior I think so we have different degree of mental maturity from each other and we have to understand other circumstances and we have to understand compre others' comprehension towards ethics. So when you see someone who behave willfully without considering others' circumstances in, situ in the situation, you must think that he has an evil, he or she has an evil in, it, in, their, in their mind. But there are a few people who have, I think there are a few people who, who, ha who behave selfishly and arrogantly because they won't purposely desire to become a bad man, but they just immature. They just immature seeing from your standpoint, I think. So they, they don't have an ethical 
sense of values that enable them to judge their behavior is wrong. So they don't know if such selfish behavior is wrong because they are immature. So it is really stressful that we have to be patient and keep watching behaviors of these people until they realize it from the bottom of their minds warmly with the stance that we give a certain advice timely whenever the opportunity comes, right? So I mean great part of evil things done by people is caused by an ignorance of coming from uh, those people's immaturity rather than true uh, evil, I think. So we have to keep watching. We have to keep watching those people calmly with a stance that if a person takes a wrong direction, we have to correct their, his or her direction as, a, as a we just take care of children, right? So if you, you know, if you harshly condemn someone for trivial matters, trivial mistakes that you regard as evil, you are not really different from those immature people.